Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And today let's take a closer look at this Vessel screwdriver. This guy here is the model 2200 and it is a Phillips number two by 100 millimeter screwdriver. It ratchets, look at that. Nice, smooth ratchet. This is a 36 tooth ratchet you can see here. Start with the Vessel up on top. Straight up and down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to go vertical. So 36 tooth, nine times four. And this particular one uh, has a great fit in the hand. You've got dexterity down here below the ratcheting mechanism that allows you to easily turn this thing. And then you've got the full force of this larger diameter rubberized ball head. Now I got this because so many people recommended that I needed to check out the vessel for both their ratcheting screwdrivers, ratcheting stubbies, and um, just their overall quality given the stuff that I was working with. So where's the stubby part? Check this out. This just pops right out of the top and begins uh, your journey into stubby ratcheting screwdriver uh, use right here with the same exact ratcheting mechanism, obviously. Real solid. Nice and easy to manipulate here while you're using it. Very short, you can see how it compares to like the snap-on. Um, so this is a full ratcheting stubby and it's the same size, maybe even just a hair shorter than the snap-on's standard um, stubby screwdriver. Here's the Weeha. I actually, I tried different bits and I tried them all and they're all the same and why that's important I'll tell you in a sec. But anyway, it's a, just a hair longer than the Weeha, way shorter, whoops, than the Snap-on, as you can see. And that's because Snap-on doesn't make a shorter bit, um, insert bit than this. Um, and here's the Klein. If I close the carousel, you can compare that. Um, and the Klein actually does have, you know, some other features up its sleeve like that. But um, the reason I have these pulled out is because as I was checking out the bits, I cannot... Ooh, there, I got it. <laughs> I cannot easily pull out the bit. Um, it is in there tight, so you might want to have a pair of pliers handy to be able to grab the bit. If I throw something in I, with a little more purchase, this is really a tight fit. You know, it'll probably get looser over time. Um, but you drop a bit in there, you might have trouble getting it out um, with your bare hands. Um, also, here's something else, is, let me get this hooked back in. This thing rolls around a lot. I mean, it is round compared to the snap-on. So I've got my, my little table here. You can see when I drop that, the snap-on stops. I drop that, and you can see that it continues to roll. Um, it'll tend to roll in a circle here, but if I pop it free, this will roll for quite a while, I've noticed, um, just because it's round. So if you're into dropping tools and the machining, listen to this. If I pull it fast, that is the sound of the air pressure, the vacuum that's created because of the machining, the incredible smoothness of this sliding into this collar here. This is a plastic collar. Um, with a an insert, you know, from the bit all the way through, so it locks into this um, quite solidly. So you can easily, easily manipulate this thing. Rotate the collar, drive it down. I'm only using two fingers on this thing too. If I really put a little muscle into it, this is full size, so I can do about anything with it. I mean, you can really grab that. That's a lot of purchase right there. So if I want to grab that and and uh, drive it down through this really solid. And this is an honest number two Phillips. It's not the Japanese industry standard number two shape. Um, so anyway, so what else about this guy? Well, I paid 14 bucks for it. 14 bucks for a solid Japanese quality ratcheting stubby and ratcheting full length number two Phillips, which is, um, you know, 90% of all the screw screwdriving I do. This thing surprised me. I just checked on Amazon though. It's at 16 now, which is still a screaming deal for Japanese quality um, and a ratcheting screwdriver and 
a ratcheting stubby. I mean, that, that's just incredible. So, do I like it better than my Snap-on? If I had to have one, I like the Snap-on. I like the feel. I like, I'm just so used to the, the front end of these things and being able to shift back and forth. You know, I've worked on them. The Snap-on's really nice. But if you look at this, I've got that S upright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. Six or seven. So it's a 24 or 28 uh, compared to a 36. Anyway, thought you might be interested in something like this. If you're looking at stubby screwdrivers, and I always am, we'll both still, except for that one problem of pulling the bits out, this is a solid unit. Definitely something um, worth considering. And with that, dock out.